Hey, what's going on guys? It is Lastly here and today I am bringing you another episode of Team of the Week testing. First off, if you guys are looking to buy some coins, be sure to, show, be sure to go and check out UT Coin Traders, link in the description below. And make sure you go and check out Ross's video, GCIMSE, his link will be in the description below and annotated on the screen and all sorts, see which players that he used. But as you can see, I went with David Luiz, Coutinho and Benteke and this is the squad that I actually used around them. Um, so quite a cool 3-5-2 you know I'm uh, I'm a fan of that formation and in goal we used Hugo Lloris with 90 diving 85 handling and all sorts of other great stats uh, Kabul and Dede being the two non-informed centre backs that we've gone with both tall both strong and really really solid and then Jerome Boateng haven't tried his inform yet from a few weeks ago so I thought it was about time I gave it a try and uh, yeah solid player as well as Gundogan haven't used him yet uh, and this sort of trio, the German trio going around there with Sydney Sam out on the right. But Gundogan's got some really great stats there across the board. Uh, and then Sydney Sam being absolutely rapid with some decent shooting. He actually turned out to be a really good player. Um, Neymar out on the left hand side. I mean, you can't get much better than Neymar. He is just, he is pretty awesome on this game. Uh, if I, I have to admit, he is just amazing. And then David Luiz, he had a man of the match card come out during the week. Uh, which I've managed to get my whole, my hands on. Uh, loads of great stats across the board there. I mean, you just look at them. 80 pace, 81 defending and 80 heading, and then some 70s in the sort of attacking sort of stats, which is really good at CDM there. Um, Coutinho looks to be an okay-ish sort of player. Doesn't look absolutely fantastic, but he has got 93 dribbling, which is a pretty great stat to have there. Really, really solid on the ball and stuff. You know, ball should stick to someone's feet if they have 93 dribbling. But he's got decent pace and 70 shooting is not the best, I do have to admit. Then Sergio Aguero up front. I figured if I'm using Benteke, I need someone a bit smaller with a great pace uh, to counter him being really tall. Uh, so I went with Aguero and he is obviously a great player. And then Benteke, 82 pace, 79 shooting, 74 dribbling, 83 heading on he he is six foot four. Uh, he's, he's just a big man with 82 pace and this is his second in form so he's low rated gold now which is awesome um, so that's the squad it looks pretty good on paper let's go and have a little look at some in-game stats and uh, we will see if if the players that we've chosen being David Luiz, Coutinho and Benteke actually have any decent stats in game so David Luiz looking at these stats I mean you can read them for yourself but there's a lot of uh, yellow and light green stats which means that he's really good across the board uh, he's got three star skills and weak foot high medium work rates which is not the best uh, and then really great physical stats there apart from his balance which is really off apparently he's doing very well and he's got 91 aggression which is sort of the sort of stats that you're going to want uh, start off the skill attributes on Coutinho are fantastic like dark green which means they're high 90s and then they get a little bit meh through the in game stats 4 star skills and weak foot medium medium work rates uh, he's only 5 foot 7 as well but his physical stats are absolutely fantastic there apart from jumping and strength they're all green or dark green uh, and then you don't want to look at the mental attributes because they're not very good at all Right, Benteke has got some a bit, a bit standard stats really, but he's got 93 finishing, 94 shot power, but 77 long shots. So if you get in the box, his shots are going to be deadly because they've got power and they're going to go in the back of the net. Physical attributes are really great there. 95 strength on him, as well as being 6 foot 4 with good pace, is great, great things to have. So let us have a little look at the squad and the goals that we got with it. So first off, a nice header from Dede there. And again, replicated here by Boateng. Two great man mountains at the centre-back spot. Uh, Going to do some damage for you. Gundawan here. Once the ball finally drops to him, he just takes a pot shot. I'm already beating this guy 4-2. And luckily that one goes into the back of the net. And then I believe, yeah, I think Benteke had a beastly shot. And just look at the defender there. He absolutely stopped. And Gundawan hit it straight off the bat first time went into the back of the net a great volley uh, Sydney Sam was rapid and I really really enjoyed him he actually scored a couple of good goals for me um, like right here he's playing at right mid but he almost seems as though he's up front in that clip um, just because Benteke dropped off and he pushed up but as you can see here wins the ball back takes a couple of touches just gets himself set up and then that is a chicken dipper that is a fantastic shot and I go a bit wild at the celebration um, Right, moving on, Neymar gets a nice goal here. He's actually got a fair amount of power on his shots, or it feels like he has anyway. Um, 
and he's just a great player on this game. I mean, the dribbling he's got there, we just luckily win the ball back and then just slot it in the back of the net against that guy. I mean, I'm going to just take whatever I can get and finish it. I mean, Aguero here, he is typically a finisher of uh, many, many goals. And he didn't score as many for me this time, simply because uh, I really wanted Benteke to score a lot. So, you know, we, we ended up just sort of passing it over to Benteke a fair few times. And Aguero, I believe he got like... Uh, only like four goals in the six games I played or something so not not quite a goal a game but you'll see in a bit when we get on to Benteke um, how many he scored these are just some sort of defensive clips and attacking clips from David Luiz I actually got on really well with him he's a great player on this game uh, I think uh, I mean I paid 500k for him which was a bit stupid I accidentally accidentally did it on my iPhone instead of pressing I think like watch player or something I accidentally bought him which is a bit silly um, but look at that for a goal a quality strike he's actually decent going forward uh, and should have a really good card next year I think um, unlucky there from Sydney Sam to have that shot blocked but then Coutinho the littlest man on the pitch scores a header uh, and this is I think is a good example of his dribbling he's got them four star skills and weak foot obviously uh, but that sort of that slalom dribble as people like to call it and then you know he just pulls it away and slots it into the back of the net I like this goal um, I was struggling with him I was actually I think I played four games he got zero goals and in the last couple of games I used him he scored a couple of goals in each so that's that's great you know he actually turned out to be an alright player I mean that's a lovely finish top top of the net I uh, wasn't expecting that I actually went a bit wild when that one went in just because I know he's got really low shot power and stuff and so I just wasn't expecting it. But look at the tight dribble in here from Benteke using the slalom dribble. Um, that's that's not bad at all. He's got two-star skills. So you're not going to be enjoying him that much at all. You're not going to be rouletting or anything. But he's a big man. And he actually did a fantastic job. I really, really enjoyed using him. I've never used his silver card or his informed silver card. Uh, but I would just... I couldn't wait to use this card for some reason just because he's playing so well in the Premier League at the moment. So I guess it's all about the hype. Um, but look at this four-star weak foot finish here. I just decided to take the shot. That's Neuer in goal that he beats. And that was a solid goal. Uh, he's a really, really strong, incredible finisher. I mean, right here, he just gets that inch of space and bam, it's in the back of the net. You can't do much about that. Um, right here, I believe, I'm doing a bit of work with Neymar and Aguero working in together. He passes it into the box. And on that four-star weak foot, again, he manages to find the back of the net. So a solid player, a solid finish. Now look at this. He takes a really terrible acrobatic shot, but because it was in the 90th minute, it goes straight off of... Uh, I was playing Jamie at that point. It goes straight off his defender's back into the back of the net. And this is what I'm all about. Benteke was holding off Dede there for the whole run. He was outpacing him, and he just scored a great goal. So that's the squad. Um... Let's run through quickly and let you know how I got on with each player. Loris, for me this time, was absolutely diabolical. He he just kept parrying everything and people kept scoring against me from it, which was not good at all. Uh, Kabul being a great centre-back there. Boateng and Dede also being incredible in this team. Great three centre-backs to use there. Really overpowered if, if that's what you're looking for, which is what we're all looking for, if we're honest. Uh, then Ilke Gundogan, uh, a really great player. I think he might even be better at a cam position because uh, he gets more involved. But he did a really good job as well as Sydney Sam and Neymar. Both of them scored a couple of goals or three goals or something in the six games we played. Which is okay because they were also setting up plenty and plenty of goals went in with this team. Uh, so not bad. Got on well with them. David Luiz. Let's get on to him shall we. I actually really liked him. Uh, I'd actually quite like to play him a little further up the pitch. He might be a good centre mid or even a cam. Uh, people would like to try and play him up front as well, which is a bit lol. Um, but 500k I paid. He only scored 1 in 5 from the uh, the online games that I was playing. I'm going to give him an 8.5 out of 10 because I was really impressed across the board with him. A solid player uh, and enjoyed him very much and hope to use him again soon. Coutinho. Right, where do I start with Coutinho? He, he was such a sort of a letdown to start off with. Um, and then he sort of came good. As you can see, four goals in six games from a cam is not actually too bad at all. So I don't know. He's not terrible like Gomez was for me last week, but he's not great. So 
I'm going to try and try him out again at some point, but I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10 for now. He did all right. Uh, I guess towards the end, he turned out to be a better player than I thought. Aguero always does the business. As I said, only got the sort of the four goals in six games because I was uh, really looking for Benteke to do some work, which he, <laughs> which Benteke actually really did. He's a solid, solid player on this game. And if he had three-star skills, he would just be awesome. I mean. He's six foot four, eighty-two pace. He scored eleven goals in the six games that I played, and for me, that is fantastic. Uh, you can probably get him for a lot less than what I paid for him, simply because I got him earlier on in the week. Uh, but I'm actually going to give him a nine out of ten. I think he really deserves it. He was a great player. Hopefully, with the, the season he's had in the Premier League this year, he gets a better card next year, and you know, is more of a force for us to use. This team actually came out at about 1.1, 1.2 million coins. Love to hit a thousand likes, guys. Go and check out Ross's video, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.